Revealing new information about the three people who were arrested for detonating homemade bombs in the North County. CBS 8's Regina On is in Vista tonight. She talked with neighbors and tells us the latest charges between the three. I'm here on East Vista Way and Vail Terrace Drive where a homemade bomb exploded tonight. We're learning more about two men and one woman who were involved in a string of explosions. Oh, it was loud, loud, loud. It was super loud. It didn't sound like a, like a gunshot. It didn't sound like, you know, a party cracker. It sounded louder. Fernando has lived on 400 East Drive for six years and has never experienced what happened last week. The first bomb detonated at Vista Christian Fellowship. This map shows the areas of where those bombs exploded. After tips from the community, detectives spotted a car on Saturday at midnight. There was a brief car chase and deputies eventually arrested three people. Not only did the pursuit reach about 120 miles an hour, but during the pursuit, both defendants were throwing explosive devices uh, as well as uh, substances used bomb components uh, out of the window. This criminal complaint shows the charges towards Valentin Castaneda, Juan Jose Castaneda Santiago, and Cali Tabler. A search warrant was served for the car and a house on North Santa Fe Avenue. There, investigators found three children, including a baby. They were not hurt. Relatives took custody of the 14-year-old boy, 7-year-old girl, and infant, according to County Child Protective Services. Rifles, handguns, ammunition were also found at the home. Valentin, Castaneda, and Tabler both plead not guilty today to multiple felony charges. We spoke with the assistant DA after he pushed to deny bail, and they remain in jail tonight. People are requesting no bail for both defendants today. This case involves uh, 17 different felony charges between a total of three defendants all relate to a series of bombs that were detonated in the city of Vista. Juan Jose Castaneda posted bail and was released. He is expected to be arraigned next week. Today, prosecutors say what happened over the course of several days should not be taken lightly, although homemade prosecutors say the bombs were carefully crafted. The investigation is continuing, but authorities say there seems to be no specific location for those explosions. No one was hurt and no property was damaged.